Good morning from the Otways. We are continuing exploring the Great Ocean Road and we've headed away from the coast and inland to the Otways. Our first stop is Hopetown Falls and apparently it's a super beautiful waterfall. Even the trees around us are so lush and so green currently so I'm pretty excited. Apparently there's a top lookout where you can see <laughs> Right the waterfalls <laughs> literally right in front of me like 30 meters away from the car park so super close and then there's a walk down to the bottom of the falls it's only like a kilometer i think so shouldn't be too bad let's check it out kind of confused because this didn't look like 30 meters yeah, but uh 30 meters. <laughs> this seems like it's the upper lookout and i'm obsessed with there. like all the ferns it's so cool yeah right i said it was so lush and green and, and also, beautiful like even like the trees it's so it seems like there's stuff growing off of the bar. I just love the green and like cool and shady. And <laughs> it's so lush. And, and it smells barky. nice. Yeah, and how fresh it is. It's Look so at amazing. This. You know when I mentioned mm. in our last video that everything just seems, not last video, our second last video, that everywhere that we've gone is like a private oasis? It's kind of self-explanatory. <laughs> but this is so cool. Okay, the waterfall is so loud now. I feel like we gotta be close. Oh yeah. We're kind of flat now too. We came down on the steps and now it's just a flat boardwalk. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna record us as we approach it. <laughs> Look how green Should it I is. Should I you recording us? <laughs> Recordception. Whoa, okay, yeah, we're here. I can see it. Okay, this is beautiful. <gasps> wow. Bian, it's beautiful! <laughs> okay, Bian's coming. Lydia, out of your excitement. Look at it! This is majestic. The way? But out of your excitement of walking to the waterfall, what? you missed the sign. What did the sign say? Platypus sightings are rare, but possible in this area. We gotta keep our eyes out. We're, um, <laughs> we're probably stay here for uh, half a day <laughs> like we did at the 12 Apostles to see penguins. But, yeah. uh, the way the ferns like line everything, the rock, the tree, it is just majestic. It's almost as if someone, a yeah. gardener, landscaper, yeah. land the framings. Perfectly. Even the trees and everything. Like, it's insane. It yeah. seems like it's framed perfectly. It's so beautiful. taken some photos and I'm genuinely just blown away like everything is just naturally beautiful and placed perfectly like we said earlier but I wanted to point out that one I don't know what to call it I, I'm gonna call it a fern but it's like jotted out sideways and then back up and it's just I feel like without that there the waterfall would kind of look a little naked it's kind of like yeah <laughs> I think we're gonna head back up after 
enjoying this for a couple minutes and really just taking it in. And then we will see you at the next vlog. We've just rocked up to our next stop and while Vian's cleaning all our lenses in the back, I had to say that is the best waterfall we've been to. Everything around it makes it so picture perfect. Like the water is really clear and beautiful. The way the ferns are all around it, the placement of the rocks, the placement of the logs straight just through the waterfall, everything. About everything. It. Like even the size of it, like it's not huge that you can't yep. like get it perfectly in frame for like photos and videos yeah but it's not too small to not you know be significant yeah. like it's yeah that was just so <laughs> beautiful and i really think the surroundings just totally made it feel magical 100%. best waterfall we've been to for sure so so beautiful but we've come to the redwoods yeah to see the trees so we'll show you those once we've uh cleaned the lenses also, all the curls have gone out my hair. <laughs> I don't know where they went. They've all just disappeared. Park's a little funny off the side here because we didn't <laughs> want to uh, block anyone in. We thought if anyone's coming in and we park here, we're just going to block them. So, funny sideways park. I feel like it's going to be super dark in there. Yeah. But look at these trees. It's quite amazing how shaded everything is. Even like driving <laughs> through the Otways, like, and then you go up to the top of the hills where it's like completely clear and it's like, whoa, I'm blinded <laughs> by the sun. It's pretty cool. Seems kind of dark in here as we it's enter. And then you look up and it just opens up. Whoa. I also just want to like comment that we're like 20 30 meters away from the van and it's already just immersed in the beautiful forest <laughs> like there's a little stream going and then there's like logs that you can cross or i think you can cross you see it all over instagram of people crossing so. but beautiful. it's just amazing and look look at this one like right over here <laughs> where are which one are you heading to Whoa! Okay, hang on. <laughs> Look at the size compared to Vian. That is massive. I think they get up to like 82 meters. No? no. 82 years. Okay, I'll... <laughs> <laughs> so these Californian redwoods were planted in the 1930s. So they're yeah. over 80 years old. And I believe they get up to 60 meters. And then the tallest redwood is in California and it's 115. So they're expecting these to get a lot bigger, but already they're massive. It's it, so wild. Did you say 60 meters? Yeah. It must have been a while since we've been in Pemberton. Why? Like the bicentennial one that, that we climbed, the platform was 75. That was the highest. Though. Or 65 meters high. That's insane. <laughs> This feels, so tall. This feels Imagine way this. too high. Imagine this, but double the height. This this does not seem okay. Like, <laughs> how did we climb this? What? <laughs> yeah, it's tall. It's very tall. That These is, are so impressive. Is, yeah. They're <laughs> massive. You can't tell when I'm like this, but you saw Vian standing in front of it. These are massive. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. Vian was like, hold the camera, hold it steady. I'm going to get a, sh like, you have to get this shot. <laughs> so I just stood here holding it. And then he sprints around amongst the trees and <laughs> runs off like we're in a horror movie.
That's exactly what I was about to say. It kind of feels like we're in like a horror movie or Twilight. I was going to say Twilight. <laughs> you know, like, it gives me I've Twilight. never watched Twilight, but I've seen like scenes from it. But like, you know, when they're like running through yeah, the... Yeah, when they're running through the trees, that's the vibe this gives me. Yeah. And I mean, I would get a shot of Lydia running sideways with like, like side profile, but I don't have a gimbal. Oh, and, okay. Um, I thought you were going to say I, I can't run. run. <laughs> Feels weird to say this. Very weird. <laughs> we're at our if, I, if I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> we're at our campsite already. Yes. It is what like 11 30. We've rocked up to our campsite because our campsite is an attraction. We are at <laughs> Bocham I mean, Falls Lydia, Campground. You are an attraction. Thank you. Yeah, so we're at Bocham. <laughs> what mood are you in Bocham right now? Bocham Bocham I was just Campground. excited because we're gonna have lunch. I think that's what it is. Yeah. But we're at Bochamp Falls campground and we can actually walk, do the walk down to Bochamp Falls, which we're gonna do later. But we gotta show you this spot because it's yeah. pretty beautiful. It's a free campground. How long are you yes. allowed to stay here? I don't think there it's was a no limit. time limit, was there? No time limit. Look at this. It's pretty windy out here. Yeah, I'm it's gonna windy. lie. <laughs> but we are right in the middle of the forest. Why is there a bowl there? We even get a free bowl with this campsite. Great views. Animal. Fire pit. Why do we never have s'mores when we have a fire pit? You tell me. You're one of the plans <laughs> all our campsites. Here's bacon and halloumi. This is what we're having for lunch. Well, we've started the Beauchamp's Falls walk and within seconds we are transformed into our own little oasis again. Everything is so lush and so green and beautiful and quiet and peaceful and pretty amazing. It literally went from like being pine plantations or whatever plantations yeah. they are to rainforest in like two meters of walking on the trail. <laughs> It's just amazing. So beautiful. I can't get over these. These are so cool. This one is longer than Hopetown Falls, the trail. So Apparently short, it'll though. take yeah, once two hours, which is still not that bad. I can't help but think that they've intentionally planted some trees and ferns and whatever along the path. But uh look at this one. Cute. It's so cool. It looks um well this side's got loads of It looks like something from Monsters Inc. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, this side's got loads of leaves on it, but this side is just fluff. I was gonna say it's like a dog or something. I like just imagine some googly eyes on it. <laughs> and like arms either side. <laughs> so as we've been walking along, we've started hearing water more and more. <laughs> and now it's brought us down directly next to a creek. And it's yeah. running along us. I wonder if like they're all connected or if it's just separate ones. What do you mean? For all the falls. Yeah, because yeah, the connected. redwoods. Really? Yeah, I thought so. Because hmm. it looks like similar that. like watercolor to what was at the uh, redwoods. Oh. Yeah. Just made it to the falls and everything we saw online 
It was kind of like a trickle. It wasn't that heavy, but it is so heavy. I can't believe it. Right? <laughs> like this, this has actually got to be one of the nicest hikes we've ever done. Oh, a hundred percent. Everything is just so lush, green and beautiful. And this waterfall is so impressive. It's falling down 25 meters and it's just so strong. I... Yeah, we, that would definitely hurt. We didn't expect this. We really didn't expect it to be this heavy. It's amazing. That's insane. <laughs> You're so impressed. I, I'm honestly just like speechless. Like, Same. This has got to be one of the nicest hikes we've ever done. Yeah. I honestly don't know which waterfall is nicer. I, I feel like everything were hoped down. The view you got far back and seeing everything framed. as a picture was like yeah. framed nicely. Yeah. It just made it look like magical, but this is just so. This is. It's beautiful, but I reckon you don't get as good of like a lookout point from it. Yeah. Like you're kind of up close to it and like feeling how powerful it is rather than looking back and being like, whoa, everything's you are, perfect. You are you a lot, I mean? yeah, you're a lot closer, that's for sure. Yeah. So you can really feel the power of the waterfall compared to uh, just taking a, taking a step back, like you said. Yeah. And yeah. Amazing. It's, yeah. But we're going to a lower lookout, potentially. Yeah. We walked past it on the <laughs> way to the higher one and it goes down. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I guess we'll see what that's we'll like. We'll see what it's like because I've seen usually we saw that people swim here, mm. like in the bottom pool. I can't imagine doing that. Same, but like usually that flow rate seems pretty insane. But usually when I see people do it, the water's not that strong. I did not expect it to be this intense. So I don't think the lower lookout is gonna get us yeah. close because it feels quite far away. And then obviously because the water's so high and rough and everything, I don't think it'll get us anywhere. But yeah. we might as well. Give it a shot. This is the low lookout. It even looks a little muddier and wet. You can see a little <laughs> stream of water, so uh, wish us luck. <laughs> yeah, look at the puddle here. Oh dear. We're not gonna get through are we? Just like with the uh, other waterfall, there are platypuses here. Or platypi. I don't know what platypi. the uh, plural is for platypus. <laughs> it's so muddy there. Oh. Wow! I didn't expect us to actually get this close. I didn't think there was any way. So cool. This is insane. Look at this. What a beautiful world we live in, eh? It really seems, I mean, it's not a prime example, but it really seems like life just grabs onto anything and everything here in this forest. So like all the stuff that we mentioned before. Have a look how cool this fern is. It's like green on the inside and then like brown black on the outside.
who knew that Australia was so diverse? I feel like this might be a long lap. <laughs> to point out so here's the van and right over there somewhere should be the red forest and hope town falls probably about three and a half to four kilometers away Good morning everyone, we have finally left Beauchamp Falls and we are back on the Great Ocean Road. Very sad to leave Beauchamp, not gonna lie. Yeah. We loved it. We stayed over the weekend while we got the first video of the Great Ocean Road up. So we stayed there over the weekend and it was so nice. Yeah, it was. Like honestly, if, if you're doing Otways or Great Ocean Road, I would highly recommend staying there. Even if you don't have like a van or anything, like just camping there yeah. would be so nice and even over the weekend like it got busy but it still wasn't that bad yeah it wasn't bad at all so we had a really good time but we are back on the great ocean road we've been driving for about an hour today mm. and we're stretching our legs currently at kennett river now this place is known for having loads of koalas you meant to come walk through and try keep an eye out for the koalas. Hmm. We walked the whole way up like a kilometer or so and we've only seen one. Yeah. So definitely not on the a... level of tower. I wonder if it's like one of those things where they're like, oh, koala cafe and there's one koala and then everyone's like, well, there's koalas there. I don't know. I've seen a lot of koala pictures Have here, you? but yeah, okay. a lot of pictures. So maybe there's <laughs> only a couple. Maybe there's like one or two or three. But um, we've only seen one. Hmm. It was sleeping high up in the tree. And I have to acknowledge, if my hair looks like a ruckus, <laughs> I had a shower and I asked Fionn to cut my hair and he trimmed the ends and it was perfect. Yep. But I have this one <laughs> bit like here. I'm so glad that you're addressing it like this. <laughs> <laughs> you thought I was going to blame you. Yeah. But I have one bit like here that was really dead and it's like it had gone like blonde in the weather. It goes mm. really blonde. And I said to Vian, cut, it cut right off here. this bit. And, I'm and like, I gave mm. him a massive chunk and I said, just cut it shorter than the rest. I don't care. Like, I just want it gone. It's dead. So we and cut I was like, it. Mm, should I cut this or should I just cut the ends of it? I'm happy to cut the dead end. I made him cut it. And just, like, no, just cut it. Just and cut now it. it's way shorter. Let me show. So here's the rest of my hair. And then there's the bit I told me how to cut. So uh, note to self. <laughs> Don't listen to Lydia when she asks you to cut her hair <laughs> in you... a certain spot. Oh, it's got a bit bright. Hang on. What Vian did looks amazing. It's a bit that I forced him to do that uh, doesn't look great. And you know what? I had it half tied up today and I had a beanie on, but my beanie kept falling off and then the tied up bit looked really bad. So you know what? I'm just going to roll with it. We could always just get you wigs so that you can <laughs> oh like gosh. interchange your wigs. <laughs> Change looks every every video. <laughs> Well, um, you know what? I'm just going to rock it and it'll grow out eventually. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> if you notice it, that's my why. My fault, but also not my fault. <laughs> it's not your fault. It is me. <laughs> Seriously, Vian was like, uh, I should cut less. And I was like, no, no, no cut it, cut it. And, but it's so much healthier now. This is where the koala was, by the way. And there's oh, yeah. loads of parrots here. The koala is somewhere here. Right at the start of the path, actually. So if you're starting the Great Ocean Road at Torquay and you're doing the whole of the Great Ocean Road and not just going to 12 Apostles and you're actually close to Warrnambool, I would recommend 
going to Tower Hill if you wanted to see koalas because yeah obviously we only saw one and it's still a really beautiful spot if you want to come have yeah. a picnic it, like the river looks really nice the forest around it looks nice you may still see a koala but if you're looking just to see koalas and you're gonna make it to Warrnambool you might as well go to Tower Hill and like I reckon another thing is that this koala cafe area does get really 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 busy yeah. so uh we saw reviews yeah, online I, I, of it being packed. <laughs> I generally do. I, I'm, I'm surprised that there's no one else here. So far, the Great Ocean Road to this side has been really beautiful, like great coastal views the entire time. And the water looks really cool, like it's super blue and huge waves. So it, it's going to nice. sound weird saying this, but it's it's been a while since we've seen a beach. Even though we saw it like in the last video, I feel like, <laughs> see, like, I, I feel like we were there for the cliffs, right? We didn't yeah. really look at the beaches. Yeah. I feel like here it's more so looking at the beaches. Like beachy, and even and that side of the Great Ocean Road, you didn't see that much of the coast when no. you were driving on the road. Yeah, here right. we are right on the coast, so it's a lot a lot prettier, I'd say. It's, it's a beautiful contrast on the Great Ocean Road here, because yeah. the water's actually turquoise as well. Yeah. So the turquoise and orange, like, complementary colours, like, it looks nice. <laughs> it's very pretty. I wish we could get a drone shot of us yeah. driving, but... We studied a, a map of like national parks and like reserves and everything of this whole region. And there's only like really in the towns where you, where you can fly a drone, but like yeah. obviously you can't because you know, it's a suburban area. Quite the test. <laughs> the drive-in was uh, very, very, very steep. Yeah. Um, next time, I'm gonna have a look at Google Maps when we're driving up the hill to see if there's an alternative route. <laughs> because uh, somehow we spun the back wheels going up a hill in a rear-wheel drive car. It was so steep. It, it was, was so like... steep. But it was crazy. It's steep because we're at Teddy's Lookout in Lawn. We made it to Lawn. Yes. And I feel like the views are worth the. Terrible time. Only because there was no accident. <laughs> yeah, definitely. If there was an accident, it definitely would not have been worth it. We're to see if there's a better route on the way out. Yeah. But the views here are just it's incredible. incredible. I saw this online and could see that you can actually see the whole of the drive we've done. Yeah. Not the whole drive, but like you can see a section of the drive we've it's done. It's beautiful. And I feel like as we're driving along, everything looks beautiful, but looking at it from a height, you realize how impressive the road is and how beautiful the coast is. 100%. It just like really puts it into perspective. It's yeah. stunning. The, the forest is so dense and then like yeah. the water is so turquoise. It's, 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 it's gorgeous. It's sadly they're doing road works there currently, <laughs> which kind of ruins the aesthetic. But, yeah. Um, if the Still roadworks beautiful. weren't there, I, I think this is the section, but like pretty much just where this where this lookout is, yeah. and slightly over the water is where it's legal to fly a drone. <laughs> so, but I don't think it's worth it because no. we still have such a beautiful vantage point. Yeah. So. Anyway. Yeah. And the roadworks. <laughs> <laughs> Guns now uh, <laughs> checking the drive back. Is that like the worst way to go? Yeah. It always does that, hey? Well, it's the shortest route, so... If you're coming to Teddy's Lookout, don't take that road right there. <laughs> Go the it's long way. It's very steep. Very, very, very steep. <laughs> <laughs> On the way into Lawn, we passed maybe 
20 tour buses going the other direction. So the time the tour buses come through Lawnway is like 11, 10, what time is yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, it's 11 now, so, so they probably were about probably 10, coming in. Yeah, like 10. So, um. Do the Great, great Ocean Road before <laughs> 10 o'clock. As early as possible. I mean, we've had everywhere super quiet. And I think hmm. now it's busy, but it's busy on the other side of the road. Like, loads of people passing us and caravans and tour buses. And yeah. It's been quite nice. We were going to go to Eggstein's Falls, but the... Oh, gun. Oh. <laughs> so, we were going to go to Eggstein Walk. <laughs> so we were going to X sign falls. <laughs> Bingo! Bingo! Um, but the lower lookout is shut anyway. And um, so we came to agreement that uh, as long as the road in isn't horrible, we would go there. And uh, there's signs that say steep descent not suitable for coaches, buses, caravans, or large vehicles. So, uh, We're not gonna based on it. the road that we just did going up and, yep. <coughs> We're not gonna risk it. If you're doing the Great Ocean Road, there's loads of other waterfalls in this area and we'd totally recommend checking them out. They're really cool. We were just gonna nip to this one because we've seen so many waterfalls yeah. in the last, like, month <laughs> and in this <laughs> video even <laughs> in this video of course but i think we just go to lawn pier and check that out and enjoy the coast sounds good Seems the lawn jetty is the spot to be. It's loads of people fishing along here. But we've gone for a walk up and down, appreciated the coast, and now we're back on the road. When we were researching the Grey Ocean Road, I said to Vian, it's 243 kilometers long because that's what all of the tourism boards and every single article says. And Vian was looking at it on Google Maps and he yep. was like, no. And he was like, no, it is. It's 243. Like, I can even get it up on Google Maps. It's 243. And I'm like, Lydia, trust me, it's 241 kilometers. <laughs> and, uh, I, she was like, oh, well, Google it. Google how long it is. And I Googled it. Literally every single article, every single web page yep. says 243 kilometers. <laughs> because I'm guessing the tourism board said 243. Yep. And then everyone just copied them. Yeah. So in the first part of our video, we said it's 243. And we've rocked up to the Great Ocean Road start. And 241 kilometer length. So I was right. Bian was right. I apologize. Thank you. We've made it to what marks the start of the Great Ocean Road for many people, but for us, is the end. You can see the memorial behind us. It's probably very loud with the cars. Yeah, probably. <laughs> and that arch is actually the fourth they've had yeah. due to fires and due to damage. Uh, it's actually been replaced quite a few times. I think one of the ones, it's because a truck hit it or something. Yeah, I think so. But the only original part of it is actually that yes. little plaque in the middle. Which is good that they kept that original bit that yeah. they managed to. That's the end of the Great Ocean Road for us and uh, yeah. guess we'll see you in the next one, whatever we're getting up to then. Toodaloo.